Here I am going to tell you what are the common MCQs or questions that would be asked from the Wilson disease. Firstly, they would be asking what is the mode of inheritance of Wilson disease. Answer would be autosomal recessive. It's a genetic disorder and it's autosomal recessive. So obviously you should look for the history in the sibling. Second thing they would be asking you that which gene is mutated. Answer is ATP7B. To confuse you, they would also give you ATP7A, which is associated with the mutation of Menkes disease. I discussed in my main lecture already. Menkes disease is associated with lack of copper in the body. That means there is a malnutrition, malabsorption of copper. On the other side, and it's a lethal neurodegenerative disease. On the other side, uh, this is an overloading of copper occurring in your body in Wilson disease. It's ATP7B. The third thing they would ask you that ATP7B gene is located on which chromosome? Answer is chromosome number 13. 1, 3. Unlucky 13. Next thing they would ask you that what are the organs which are commonly affected in Wilson disease? Answer is 3. Most, uh, which one is first affected? Answer is liver. Then the other two organs which are very commonly affected is eye and CNS, brain particularly, the basal ganglia. Next thing they would be asking you that what is the hematological manifestation of Wilson disease? Answer is hemolytic anemia, Coombs negative hemolytic anemia because RBC membrane gets damaged by copper deposition. Next thing they would be asking you that what is the specific cell which is seen in the brain biopsy of Wilson disease patient and says Opalusky cell. Opalusky cell is thought to be a kind of degenerated glial cell and they usually seen in globus pallidus in the region in the brain of the Wilson disease patient. Then they ask you that what are the liver biopsy findings in the Wilson disease patient and so it's highly non-specific. It could be acute hepatitis, chronic hepatitis cirrhosis. They could ask you that what are the histological stains which are used in Wilson disease. Answer is orsin rhodamine. This kind of stains are used actually. Then they can ask you that Wilson disease, what are the endocrinological manifestations occur? One classic is hypoparathyroidism. Uh, it's, it's a very characteristic finding associated and seen with uh, Wilson disease, thou uncommon. Uh, then they can ask you what is the renal manifestation. Answer is Fancani syndrome, which is a proximal renal tubular dysfunction associated with this thing. Don't confuse this with Fancani's anemia, which is an inherited form of aplastic anemia. Uh, then they can ask you the, the diagnostic finding. They might confuse you. The serum ceruloplasmin level would be low. Why it would be low? Because ATP7B gene gets mutated and ATP7B incorporates copper into aposeruloplasmin and that gets released into the blood. Now, as in this condition, ATP7B is mutated. So, the aposeruloplasmin is not getting copper incorporated into it. So, this abnormal form of Ceruloplasmin, even if it is secreted into the blood by hepatocyte, that would be highly unstable because it is not bound with copper and they get quickly degraded. So overall, the total level of serum ceruloplasmin would be low in this condition. This is diagnostically useful, but there is no role in pathogenesis of this condition. Copper excretion in the urine is very high in this condition. This is you remember. And per gram dry weight, the quantitative copper estimation is also very high, more than 250 microgram per gram dry weight of liver biopsy. This is seen. This is another important uh, point they might ask you in the exams and other places. It's an important concept that serum copper level has no value, diagnostic value, because it could be high, low, or normal, depending on the stage of the liver disease. Uh, in the eye, they can ask you the manifestation, two manifestation. One is Kaiser flexure ring. Uh, which layer of the cornea is deposition occurs? 
uh, due to the copper deficiency is decimates membrane is important and usually when there is a chelating agents are provided these things might disappear due to the successful treatment another eye manifestation is sunflower cataract which does not interfere with the vision of the patient and uh, in the brain actually uh, this usually can mimic the parkinsonism so the patient can present with tremor uh, patient can have rigidity patient can have movement disorder micrographia they can have speech difficulty micrographia means their handwriting will become crampy smaller with time as they write this is a feature of parkinson disease also another thing they ask i forgot to discuss that is kf ring specific for wilson disease answer is no this can be seen in other cholestatic disorders like uh, primary biliary cholangitis which is the new name of primary biliary cirrhosis so these are the key <coughs> points concepts that you need to keep in mind while learning about wilson disease thank you very much the other things i have discussed in the coming lecture